guys. So we are shooting Miguel CL500 today. I'm just setting up. Uh, we are at Hugh Moore Park. Uh, used this location before. Um, we did one for Shy. Uh, she had the prelude. Um, so I like this. So we just wanted to start out our day today here. It's beautiful outside. Um, so I'm just setting up. Uh, Miguel's going to be headed on the way over and then we're going to start filming. So we are just setting up the gimbal. This is what I use. I don't have anything fancy yet. I definitely do need to upgrade. Um, but this is just the WeBuilt S by Zhiyun. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this is my wife. She is going to be doing the vlogs and everything. So uh, yeah, she thinks she's a model or something. Do that, do that swipe yet again. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, so she's going to be behind the camera and she is the driver also. Yep. Uh, so I'm just setting up everything right now with the camera. So I just got to balance the gimbal and everything. So those of you that use gimbals know the fun in this. So yep, that's where we're at right now. We're filming uh, Miguel's CL500. Uh, we shot his uh, Chevy Impala last year now, almost a year now, I think. Um, so of course, you know, he hit me up and he said, hey, I definitely want this uh, CL500 filmed. And I was like, of course, man, of course. And we lucked out today. It's a beautiful day. I know when we, when we shot that Impala, it was such a cloudy day, but uh, it's nice to get some different lighting this time. So yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, traffic's kind of crazy. It's Saturday, 78 is kind of packed, 22 is packed, but we're gonna make it work. We always do this safely, safe speeds, nothing crazy. I have the back roll down window. If you want to show this mm -hmm. If you guys have seen my other vlog, so this comes down so I can safely uh, film from behind there. I don't have to hang out or anything like that. So be safe, kids. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm almost done. So I'm just gonna balance this now. You do the best you can first. When you first set it up, the better work you do balancing it yourself, it makes it easier on the motors to do their work. Um, so I did the best I could, and now all I have to do is balance it myself. So just just start out one thing at a time, and then you take it from there. So first I'm gonna start with this. So what you wanna do, you wanna get in close here. So you just wanna kinda have it balanced the best you can, and then let the motor do the work for you. So that's good, you see it's not swinging around. You wanna take it around this way. See it's not wobbling and stuff, so it's all good. So next we're gonna do this axis over here. See how that falls over? So what you have to do is kinda of slide this till you get it perfect. Boom. Good there, good there. And then this is the last one, which I don't really mess with, so it's all good. So now we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna turn this back off. Turn it back on. And then I'm just gonna set it. So I've literally had times where I was doing rollers and this thing decided to go completely off on me. Just started spinning like crazy and stuff. So not sure exactly what was going on, but I recouped from it. Um, my first set of rollers I did with the BTO crew. Um, halfway through this thing just started spinning out on me and I had no idea what was going on. I don't know if I clicked the wrong button or hit something by accident, but you just gotta kinda think on your feet and figure stuff out on the fly because pretty much if I've learned anything from videography for just the one year I've been doing it is you got to be able to think on your feet because stuff will just happen all the time so all right so this kind of looks like it's off again let's try to balance it a little bit more so like I said the better work you do the easier it is for uh, the motors to do the balancing for you all right, so let's see if I move this a little bit this way. Oh, that's too much. All right, that's good. All right, so that one's good. All right. So I'm just gonna hit that. Make sure none of these are locked. Oh, that's a little bit off. So once again, just try to balance it out the best you can. All right, make sure all the axes are not locked. Turn this off back on again all right and then we're just gonna have it auto balance you'll see it do his little shimmy thing let me see that see how it's shaking a little bit that means the motors are working to balance the gimbal and once it stops shaking that means it's good and now it stopped only need especially on a sunny day is sunglasses for your lenses is what i call it this is just a variable nd filter so you can change how dark or how light you want the lens to be. But on a sunny day like this, I shoot manual complete, completely. 
completely busy. I said completely. <laughs> uh, I shoot manual completely, so I always have to adjust the settings on the fly. Nothing's on automatic, um, so I'm always constantly changing the darkness and the lightness. I have my ISO, my white balance all set to a certain amount. Nothing's on auto, like I said, so when you're shooting manual, it makes it a little bit harder with the gimbal, but it just makes the shots a little bit better because you have full control over it. Uh, but yeah, that's about it.